Bang. Here we go. So I, I try not to think so much about what happened. And this doesn't mean that I don't have fun with it and that I don't I don't get little moments of maybe maybe this happened. Let's see if this happened. Could could this have ha happened? And you know maybe there was a storm. Maybe there was a lot of wind that day. Maybe uh maybe it's not even planet Earth. Maybe it's another planet. I don't know. Something happened. There, there is a picture that is trying to be born, and I don't know. That's why when people tell me, oh, your, your painting looks like it's not even from Earth, or your, the cow that you painted looks like it's sick, or, and I'm like, see, now I'm creating art. Just, just the fact that they're telling me those things. Your, your car, your, your, the cow you painted looks sickly. Uh, the person you paint it looks like they have a they have they have a headache and and, and if if they look all perfect and whatnot I, I didn't create art if the fact that people tell me hey your figure looks slanted are they falling are they drunk what's going on yeah your figures look like they're drunk all your trees look like the wind is blowing from, from, from the right to the left. And I'm like, see, you're making up the story yourself. That's the beauty of me not trying to make up a story. You make up the story because, because I'm not here to tell you a story. Okay, I'm not here to, to, to come up with a story. I'm, I'm, I'm painting it. The story was there already. And in your mind, you're putting it together. When you when you see one of my paintings, you're putting the story together in your own mind. The meaning of it, it's in your mind. It's not in mine. If it wasn't mine, it would, the painting would suck. It would be a horrible painting if the story was in my mind. Because it would mean nothing to you. The, paint, the, the story has to be in your mind. You are the one who knows what's going on. I don't. I'm just painting it. I have no idea what the event was. Maybe I'm. In, it looks like I'm. I'm in a desert, but I don't. I don't really know what the event is. And so, if I liberate myself from that notion, I'm able to create art. I can actually say something. Because I'm not the one speaking, right? It's the art. Some people tell me sometimes, hey, it's so weird. It looks like you're painting you're painting uh, daylight, but it looks like if it was in, in Alaska or it looks like the the light looks too too uh, not real it looks it reminds me of and and then they come up with a story and that's where i go oh okay yeah it's it's your story it's not mine it's definitely your story i i couldn't come up with that story it's too magical you know so in other words the painting belongs to the viewer not to me I'm just the humble serpent. Telling this, you know, writing down an event. But I don't know what the event was. You gotta keep that in mind if you're an artist. You, you, you don't necessarily have to know what the event is, what's going on. Let, let them come up with what the event is because chances are they know better than you do what the event is. Their experiences are gonna are gonna are gonna tell you what what's happening, what it reminds them of, what how how they can let them connect the dots. In other words. 
because it means different things to different people. If I tell you what it is, then, then it lose meaning to you. You're like, oh, okay, I see. Oh, okay, that's cool. But it's got no meaning for you. But if you tell me what it is, you place a meaning yourself, not me. Now it means something. Sometimes I do little gestures in my paintings, and then people tell me, oh, it looks like uh, my vacation to blah, 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 or it reminds me of, you know, and that's, that's exactly what it looks like. That's exactly what it is. And they're convinced that that's what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like, but they, they, but they do. And they're convinced about it. And I'm like, I'm like, Jesus, like, why? Why are artists so interested in finding, like in trying to paint something if, if the viewer already knows what it is? That's when I stopped telling the story. I was like, I'm not gonna tell the story anymore. I, I don't even know what it is. Somebody may be looking at this and, and starts telling me, oh my God, that reminds me when I went to Taos and I used to live in New Mexico and this is what happened. This is what it looks like. That's exactly, I know that sky. I know exactly what's going on there. P painting, is, painting is fucking spiritual that way. It connects people's memories and ideas and it's, it's very, very interesting. I get people calling me and telling me, how do you know to paint this? I'm like, I... I how do I how do I know to paint what? Yeah. They think I'm like Nostradamus or something. They're like, yeah, this is exactly what happened to me. Or this is exactly the place I visited. After I bought the painting, I went and I visited this exact place. Or this is the place of my childhood. The, I know this place. I know that tree. I know exactly where where you were. I know exactly what you're painting, what you painted. And I'm like, oh my God, I, I, no, I, don't, I don't know. Because I... I paint from not knowing, and so I don't, I don't have, I don't give myself the luxury of owning the painting, right? I let the viewer own it. I'm going to get off my soapbox now, because some people are probably listening to this and being like, geez, okay, I get it. It's the, I think it's the most important most valuable lesson that I've learned as an artist. Okay? Is that a painting of Taos? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs> but people have told me, right? When I when I paint something, they're like they're like, I know where exactly where you are. You're in Taos. You're you're doing Taos. You're painting Taos. I know exactly where you took that photo, or I know exactly where you were, or what you mean by that painting. Sometimes it's not the not. Not the painting itself. Sometimes people tell me, uh, I know the feeling.